All right, little insight into your Bagua linear form. And again, you know, most of these insights that I'm giving sort of will apply to other areas of your training as well. So the area this applies to is when you have a sequence of strikes. So we're going to use this first little movement in your linear form as a way of learning. When you're doing any sequence of strikes like that, especially mostly talking about one-handed um, strikes, we're going bang, bang, bang off the one hand. This applies to all your Tai Chi forms, any of your Fa Jing based forms, where you've got a lot of strikes going one after the other. You must make sure that you're doing the body mechanics in a way that you know you're getting power in the movement. I see a lot of people <coughs> doing this movement as an example. Now come to here. And it'll be something like... <laughs> now, that looked nice. Oh, it had a nice little shake and a fizz. It looked really you know, violent and shaky and all that. But I know that apart from the last strike, the last strike had power in it, but the elbow and the slap were just like that. There was no, there was no impact through the strike. It had a, <laughs> had a nice little shake through it but it did not have power going through the movement. You must make sure if you're doing a martial form, you know that you know how to do it with reference to actually gaining power in that movement. So, when we're doing this particular posture, come to here. Okay, so here's your three strikes. Bang. First do the elbow. <coughs> Feel what that feels like in itself before putting it together with any of the others. So just start there and go, okay, I'm going to twist and recoil backwards. So from there, you got that movement. And that, whoa, that feels powerful now. I feel like I'd knock someone's head off if I put that in. Then go, okay, you've recoiled back, so your waist is pulled back to the right. You're now going to do the back palm. So you're going to open your waist and close your waist. These three strikes, by the way, all have the same body mechanic, a left and right, left, right, left, right. Um, so, we've done the elbow. So now you're, you're cocked over to your right, ready, from that elbow. You're now going to put the back palm in. Feel the power. There. So now, I've felt what that strike feels like on its own. So I'm, I'm going to do it a few times. I'm going to go, okay. And you can practice these, of course, on a bag so you can know you're actually getting power with them. So, bah, you really, whack, you feel your hand shake on the end of the movement. Like that. And then, of course, whack, again, you recoil back. And your last strike, you're going to jab your fingers forward. Bah, and again, you'll feel your fingers like they're going to fly off the end of your hand. Then you've got to put those together. Now, what you just felt from going bang individually, bang individually, bah, and the last one individually, you've got to still feel all those consecutive feelings when you do them together. So you've got to get the happy medium between them rolling on and still maintaining your power. So, of course, we don't want something like bah, bah, and a, you know, a break in between each one. That's not how the form should go. They should roll. You still want to borrow from the last movement, so you're using the recoil of the last movement into your second movement and into your third movement. Um, so from here, yeah, as I said, we don't want bang, pause, bang, pause. That's still just doing three separate strikes. You're not rolling them on. But nor do we want something like this, where they're just... They're just fizzing along. We need to make sure there's power in those movements. So, from here... Now, I felt all those same things happen in that posture. I felt... I felt the elbow whip out with power. I felt my hand flick on the end of that strike. And I felt the fingers and the hand shooting out at the end of that posture. So, again... From here... You got that power coming out in that posture now. 
So if you can get your postures to happen like that, and as I say, that goes for, there's many times in the linear form where you'll have those kind of things happening, where you've got one hand striking, and in, in lots of the other forms, the Wudang forms, the Tai Chi forms, and so on, you'll have that kind of principle happening. So any time when you have a movement that is one shot bouncing off into the next, make sure you practice it on a bag, hit, or two guy holding two mitts or something, slam it as hard as you can, and feel, okay, that's how I have to move to get the power. And therefore, that's how you should do the solo form. Rather than thinking, okay, bang, 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 when you're hitting a bag, and then changing it to the solo form, <laughs> and doing something pissy like that. You've got to put that, that full shake, that full shake into every single movement that you do, and make sure you feel that power coming out. Thank you.